One thing in lawn care that we don't talk about enough is thatch. But what is it really? Why is it bad and what can you do about it? Let's talk about how to improve your lawn's health by freeing your grass from thatch. I'm Izzy from Southland Organics, where we create natural solutions to natural problems in lawn care. Learn more at southlandorganics.com. Let's talk about thatch, from the basics to some things you may not know yet. Thatch is a layer of organic matter that exists between the visible blades of grass and the surface of the soil. In very small amounts, thatch can be beneficial. It provides organic matter for the soil, upon which microbes feed and then recycle as plant food. But a buildup of half an inch of thatch or more can deteriorate the health of your lawn. A layer of thatch this thick can serve as an ideal environment for pests, disease, and harmful bacteria, and it will likely hinder future root growth as well as limit the benefits of your lawn care practices. So while a little thatch is healthy for your lawn, excessive buildup can choke out the roots of your grass. But don't worry, there are measures you can take to eradicate thatch buildup in your lawn. Thatch buildup occurs when a few different environmental factors are in place. These can include the following. One is excessively fast growth of grass caused by heavy nitrogen fertilizer use. A second is overwatering. Third is excessive use of pesticides, which can kill earthworms and other beneficial microorganisms that help break down the organic matter. And a fourth is weather conditions that lead to heavy, wet soils. All of these factors can work together to create an environment where organic matter does not break down properly. This will lead to a thick layer of built-up thatch. To effectively control the thatch buildup in your lawn, it's important to target the source of the problem. Organic matter, like grass clippings, not breaking down properly. One of the biggest solutions to break down organic matter is actually microscopic bacteria. Beneficial bacteria can help accelerate the breakdown process and prevent the excessive buildup of thatch in the future. It's also best to aerate your lawn, which allows the organic matter to breathe and therefore break down more quickly. So thatch can be broken down through aeration and added microbes. How do you apply these techniques to your lawn? You could approach these issues separately, applying a microbial product and then mechanically aerating, but this can become expensive and take a long time. Naturally, we recommend using a product that targets both aeration and beneficial bacteria, Revival. Revival can help breathe new life into your lawn while breaking down existing thatch. This product combines a liquid aerator with a microbial dethatcher and compost accelerator to target organic matter and increase its breakdown. Not only does this help break down the thatch on your lawn, but it also helps nourish the grass that's currently there so it stays healthy and green. Did I mention that Revival is all natural? It's made from beneficial bacteria, organic acids, and carbon, making it not only effective but safe for you, your family, your pets, and the environment. Revival should be used at the end of the summer season when your lawn is covered with grass clippings or whenever your lawn needs aeration and a breath of new life. It's easy to apply. Just spray it on your lawn at a 1 to 20 product to water ratio once per month. I hope this video gave you a better understanding of what thatch is, why it occurs and can be harmful, and how you can eradicate the thick layer of thatch on your lawn that may be hurting your grass. At Southland Organics, we want you to have a lush, healthy lawn that you deserve without the use of harmful chemicals. We truly believe that Revival can help make this happen. If you have any questions on thatch or our products, feel free to comment on this video or contact us at success at southlandorganics.com or 800-608-3755. Keep up with us on social media at Southland Organics. Thanks for watching.